get one deck of cards. Okay, here we... Oh. Oh, wait a second. Oh, they're blank deck? Oh, my goodness. Wait, I must have brought the wrong one. Well, it's easier to find the card this way. Um, they're blank. My goodness. Blank here. Blank over here. Here. And there. We're going to print the deck in front of your eyes. Watch closely. That's oh, it. I don't know how you did that. That's incredible. I was standing so close. Take any card you'd like. Look at it. Memorize it. Don't show it to me. Got it memorized? Yes, I College did. girl. That's marvelous. Yes. Place it back in. Okay, but I can't place it back in. Okay, we're going to cut the deck. I'm going to actually try to find the card. If I'm correct, your card was a seven of diamonds. Was that your card, the seven? No. I said, if I'm correct, don't get excited. All Place right. your hand on top of the seven. Yes. Watch closely. Listen, give the kid a break. Okay. Henning messes up once in a while, too, you know. Here we go. Watch it. Did you see it? It just happened. Is it now my card? Say your card? card out loud. My card is the three of hearts. Show it to him. What was the card you put in your... Uh, now, there was a card in our hand. One card's face down. There's a seven That's of incredible. diamonds. That's right. Philip. Anyone you'd like, look at it, memorize it. Okay, what I want you to do is I want you to take the, get it, magic marker. What a sick guy. Here we go. Take it, put a mark on the card. Okay, let me have that back. It's been a rough week. Okay. What I'd like for you to do is show it to the audience. Okay? Won't matter. Watch. Here we go. Watch it. card that you chose was the today the seven of hearts <laughs> oh the seven of the heart it was a heart card it was a red card oh well they know because they saw it but you marked it though you yes i it. did i marked it okay <laughs> is it a right. six of hearts oh, yeah. very good i wasn't very good philip but you were fantastic that is incredible
Ladies and gentlemen, step into the future now as we present the magic of the space age cylinders. Now the ends of each cylinder are sealed securely with a panel lock, a panel lid padlocked and locked in three locations. The opening here is barred by four solid steel spikes. Each is made of steel and for our purposes practically indestructible. Likewise, this cylinder will be fitted with a panel lid on both sides. And again, the panel lid is solid and quite secure. Oh, one more thing. The cylinder is barely large enough to hold a person. There is no room to move around. Now watch closely as we fasten it up as tight as a drum. Number one. As you see, she fills the entire interior of that cylinder. the young lady inside cylinder number one. And I'll prove to you, she's still there. If you're there, pull in the handkerchief. And now, in the twinkling of an eye, I'll pass that young lady into the second cylinder. Ready? inside, but get set for a surprise. What? Ladies and gentlemen, with his bare hands, Mr. Electric will attempt to light a 1,000 watt bulb.
I still haven't done the underwater escape that I've been promising to do. It's not that I'm nervous or that I'm trying to duck the issue, but uh, I think... <laughs> Webster, right on cue. You know, uh, Webster, as I told you, we have this incredibly difficult underwater escape I have to do, and there's just no time for your trick. Well, looks like we better do it. Do we have the, the stuff? Let's, we do. Great, bring it up. You're going to get your chance. Do so. Would you mind helping us out? Come right over here. Stand right over here. And I need you to kind of give me a profile shot. There you go. Just like that. Good. I've got this little bucket here. Empty. Empty. Put your hand inside. Anything in it? No. No? I want you to hug this bucket, okay? Get a hug. Good. Very good. Webster. It's your big chance now. Wave goodbye to everybody. <laughs>
Susie said, I make things talk. Do you remember Get Smart? The shoe phone? Come on, you're alone, you're alone, you're there, and you're alone. No. We really don't need this. No, no. No! I'm sorry. It's all right. <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen, tonight I'd like to share something with you. I'd like to show you how you can build puppets yourself. Now, the first thing you need is a sock. It stinks! <laughs> Don't trust a shoe, okay? <laughs> and a couple of rubber bands. Hola, señora, como esta? Say that again. Hola, señora, como esta? Spanish? Si. <laughs> we'll keep talking. Count to ten. Si. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, six, oh, seven, oh, eight, oh, nine, oh, and ten, oh. <laughs> That's not the way it goes. Hey, man. Learn to adjust. <laughs> what happened to the Spanish? I'm bilingual. Oh, huh. Hey, what are you doing? I'm building a puppet. Can I help? Well, yeah, keep talking. What do you want to hear? I don't care. Can you do a short gag? Yeah. Uh, no, 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 no. That's, that's not what I meant. Okay. Hey, what is this? This is a little sock on your head. We're going to pretend it's hair. And I got a little scarf here. This is going to be a dress. A dress? Yeah, a dress. A dress? You're not male. You're female. Oh, I am! Oh, I didn't understand. You know, he, what are you doing back there? Don't look. Don't look. I have to tuck this in. Are you playing on my tush? I'm not playing with anything. Don't look. I can't see. I got the eyes. Hang on. Okay. There's the first eye. Oh, look! <laughs> Woo! Look at the lady sitting out there who's topless. Top? No, no, no. There's nobody topless out there. Here, you need the other eye. Look at her. Look. Oh, my God! Uh, it's two bald-headed men sitting side. Come here. Come here. That's, that's okay. We're gonna, gonna get on to that. Okay. The next thing you need is a balloon. What is that? It's a balloon. Yeah. Yeah. Look the other way. Where? Look away. I want to surprise you. Look over there. Where? <laughs> you hit my nose. Do it again. <laughs> <laughs> How do you do that? I'm a honky. You're a... <laughs> They applauded. You're supposed to bow and smile. Oh, I didn't know. Okay, there you go. Bow. Okay. Now smile. Do what? Smile. Lift the corners of your mouth. You're kidding. Do it. <laughs> what are you doing? I'm straightening out the balloon. I want to get kinky. Hurt me. Hurt me. No, 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 no. Do something else while I blow this up. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, he blows it up. I'm going to sing a song. <laughs> Are you ready? Wait a minute. On a count of three, sucker one, <laughs> two, three, the A, D, C song. Hit it, turkey, go, hit it. <laughs> you kissed me. So what? <laughs> you, you, uh, uh, it, it smells. <laughs> so does your seat. Okay, okay, I'm sorry. I, I, I forgot about that. Okay, all right, all right. Hit it. Like his father before him, Harry Blackstone Jr. is known as the modern master of grand illusion. And the world famous Blackstone Magic Show is now in its 80th year and it continues to baffle audiences all over the world as the, I guess, largest illusion show in the world. So ladies and gentlemen, will you welcome please a great name in magic, Harry Blackstone Jr. Uh, oh, wait, 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 I thought I was going to. 
Well, why don't we? Why don't we? Listen, right. I'll, I'll, let me ha I'll try to explain this to the people. There's a classic of magic known as the floating bird cage. Uh, years ago, I tried to, as a kid to do this trick, but I found it so difficult just to hold the cage uh, because I was quite small. And to make it float in the air eluded me. I could never, ever bring it off. Oh, this, this is actually can. your cage. This is my cage. Mm -hmm. I bought this 25 years ago. That's true. And uh, Harry works with a bird, as you can see. Well, it makes mine easier because the bird carries part of the load. Uh -huh. <laughs> also, the band refused to work with a non-union canary. Right. So, uh... <laughs> so I I'm standing here birdless in front of you. But uh, anyway, we're going to... We're trying to make magic history here today, and so we're going to try this together, the twin, of them float, uh, twin right. floating right. cages, right. and uh, how should we do this? Should we, should we just do it regularly? Well, one, it's a little harder for me, so let's do it on the count of four. All right. Okay, anything on the else? Count of four. Is, is there anything else they need to know? No, no, just watch, and you won't believe what you're about to see. That's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> I don't believe what I'm seeing now. Are you ready? Yeah, why don't you count? All right, one, two, three. Oh! Four. Did yours go? I think so. You did it. <laughs> Wonderful. I think that that came off very, very well. I think it did, too. I, I lost a foot from nerves in that. But <laughs> when the trick started, I was as tall as Harry was. Uh, what should we do for an encore? Well, I have a special illusion that I would like to show to you and to our friends at home. This, as a matter of fact, uh, since this is the theme of Grand Illusion, mm -hmm. this particular illusion that you're about to see is another Grand Illusion that really is kind of in the area of a torture trick. Ah, does it have a name? Um, yes, it's known as the torture trick. The torture trick. Does it involve any of the well-known instruments of torture? Uh, no, this one involves something that is found in the common home. A light bulb. Light in fact, bulb. several. May we show you? Oh, I hope Con Edison doesn't fail us during this. Maestro, ladies and gentlemen, if you please. What you're looking at is indeed an instrument of modern torture. Perhaps the most insidious, the most treacherous object of torture since the daytime quiz show. 24 long electric light bulbs and the front panel with corresponding holes. In fact, if someone were placed here in front of those lamps and then the lamps pushed through, <laughs> Will you be the judge? And now, the victim.